Hey guys, so I have another exciting unboxing video. Um, I'm going to be unboxing the Witch Wednesdays Sabbath box for Ostara. If you guys haven't seen, I did one for Imwalk as well. Um, but this one, I'm going to be doing one for every single um, holiday. So that way we can kind of talk about it and I can show you what they are um, giving us. So I definitely recommend checking out this podcast. They're really, really cool. I really like the vibe that the two hosts have. Steph and Tara, they're just like super sweet. And um, they also have like a Patreon and a... A, um, a discord so I'm part of the discord server if you want to hang out with me there um, I also have my own discord server uh, where we do daily prompts kind of like this um, so I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys the unboxing so we're gonna hop right in I literally got this today um, and they today is well, like when I'm filming this it is the 2nd of March so they definitely give it to you like way before you need it like definitely in time and they do announce like on their Instagram and stuff like when the um, Sabbath boxes are going um, on sale. So this is $35, I think, for the entire, for the box. And they give you a ton of stuff as well as other resources to talk, like, and a spell to do. So it's really, really cool. Again, if you are interested in seeing more uh, like this, definitely check out the Imolk box that I did last month. So, or like in January, I think, actually. Oh my gosh. Anyways. Um, so I'm just gonna open it. I love these because it's just it's just nice because I have an issue with like getting myself things for witchcraft. Like I can't like justify it in my brain, but because this is like for my channel, um, I just I just love it. Okay, so I, I'm this is me learning how to treat myself basically. So I got a sticker. <laughs> so this is their logo and stuff, which is really cute. Um, and then like a little okay. So the next thing after the sticker, um, they gave me the like three pieces of paper. This is kind of like what we had in the Imok one. So they gave you a give you a rundown of Ostara, the spell work associated, some activities, the colors associated with it, um, which I hopefully I believe I went over in or will be going over in a video. I'm not sure really exactly where my schedule is right now, and I don't have it memorized, so I'm sorry. Um, the animals, the crystals, the herbs and flowers and incense, as well as a um, kind of like rundown, like a summary of the the whole thing. So got that. And they're like perfect. They're like perfect, like the perfect size for my book of shadows. Like I'm super stoked. Um, then they have a ritual bath for balance, which is cool. I can't take baths because it just, I just, meh. Um, but hopefully I it looks like there is a an herb blend and a bath salt, so I might be able to like do a foot bath or something. I know that seems like really weird and gross, but like I like a good pedicure. I don't know. Um, so do that, and then they have an herbal blend, so that might be um, something that like I can use in the shower as an herbal steam. Um, and then they have a recipe for Ostara pink deviled eggs, which is actually really exciting. It's n n enough egg discourse. Um, so the first thing I want to pull out, it looks like this is, um, they did a, like, they did a write up before about everything that was in the box, but I don't see that this time, but that's okay. We're going to figure it out as we go. Uh, so, okay. The first thing that we have, okay. So this must be the balance oil. Um, and they do list all of their stuff on, um, like with the ingredients of everything on their Patreon for free. So if you end up getting this but aren't subscribed to their Patreon, you can still figure it out. It smells so good. I I wanna smell like this forever. I wanna smell like lavender forever, but like with occasional intervals of this. Huh. Anyways, okay, so they have that. And the next thing I got, this was cool because I was able to pick what I got. Um, and this is, oh, I don't want to give myself a paper cut. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, here's the box contents. Oh my gosh, I'm so silly, guys. Um, okay, so the oil includes a balance of almond, honeysuckle, lavender, and ginger. Um, it's for scenting the bath, sc scenting bath water, um, softening skin, and represents the water element. So uh, I think the honeysuckle or whatever. Yeah, honeysuckle and lavender. Wow, what a shock. Of course, I love it. So anyways, um, oh my god, this smells so good. Everything in here smells great. Um, so yeah, I was able to pick like the poster that I got. So they had one that was like the wheel of the year and all of that. I picked nine healing herbs. So this has 
catnip, chamomile, colt's foot, plantain, ginger, cayenne, comfrey, garlic, and lobelia. And it has just some like really pretty illustrations and it's on this like nice parchment paper. So I'm not sure that I will be able to fit this in my book of shadows, but maybe if I do it like this, like hopefully I want to get a pretty big uh, book of shadows. I want to get a, a bigger book of shadows for myself so I can put everything that I'm doing in here, like online right now into a new book of shadows that I want to get at the Renaissance Festival specifically with my mother. So I know that's like very complicated and weird, but I just, that's what I want. So um, I don't know if this will fit into it, but hopefully it will if I do it like sideways, cause I think that is amazing. Um, otherwise I might make a scan of it and just print it out at a smaller size because this is like really cool. And I just look, Look at that font. Look at, look at the font, guys. Anyway, this is taking way too long. I'm so sorry. This thing is, they gave me what looks like four, one, two, five, five sticks, one, two, yes, I can count. Five sticks of incense, um, along with, it doesn't, doesn't say what kind it is, but it does smell really good. It kind of smells like, I don't know if this makes any sense, but that general scent of like a metaphysical store, um, I don't know if that makes any sense, but I will have to see, and I will definitely list this down below as well. So yeah, this doesn't say what it is, but it smells really good, and it's, I always love incense, so can't go wrong with that. And then they also gave you an incense burner, which, I mean, you can't go wrong. I have one. I think it is pretty much identical to this, actually, if not, maybe a little bit smaller, uh, but we have, like, so many incense burners in this house, but um, this has, like, a moon on it. Look at that. Okay, it's super cool. And it, it's really nice that they provided that with stick incense because sometimes like, I know, especially if you're a beginner, which like, this is not something that I thought about when I got, when I started burning incense. In fact, I actually was like, not allowed to burn incense in the house, like until we went to the Renaissance Festival with my parents and they were like, oh, it's fine. It's not witchcraft. It was totally witchcraft. But I made my own, um, I ended up making my own incense burner by like finding a stick outside and like drilling a, drilling a hole in it, into it with a screwdriver. Oh my God, it was like the most insane thing I've ever done, but it worked really, really well. I also like had sanded it down. So it was like flat, uh, honestly kind of miss it, but um, it is nice that they have provided us with an incense burner. I highly recommend getting one of these, especially if you are working with incense because um, they're handy dandy. So anyways, the next thing that they provided was a purple candle, which is for the bath ritual, which is cool. Um, again, I'll probably just have this on while I'm taking a shower and doing some like self care. So um, this also really works well because last time they gave us a, um, like a candle holder. So that is handy dandy and I love a good chime candle. I think this is a really pretty color. It's lavender. It's one of my favorite colors of all time. So yeah. The next thing that they gave us, this is the, um, the bath salt. And this is blended with the scent of eucalyptus. Um, so that's really cool. Again, I'm probably going to be doing like a foot soak or something. But the next thing, I think maybe the final, oh no, a couple things, okay. Okay, okay. So this is the herb blend that they gave us. Let's see, can you see that? So it looks like there's some chamomile in there just by looking at it. Um, looks like maybe some rose petals. I'm gonna read it really quick, hold on. Let me read it. Let me just do the responsible thing and read it. Um, okay, rose petals and chamomile. Oh, I was right. Um, and used within the white organza bag, which they gave us, and I'm gonna try not to like spill everything everywhere, which is this, great for sachets, which is exactly what I was about to say. Um, so that way you can put it in your bath, but I'm gonna put it, like I said, again, in the shower. So I'm gonna take this stuff, I'm gonna put it in here. I'm gonna close it up. I'm gonna take it out of the plastic bag, just bear with me. But basically I'm gonna tie it up and I'm gonna hang that on the shower head and the steam should give me a nice scented herbal steam. So if you don't like baths like me, this is a cool way to do it. Um, or like an herbal or like cleansing shower. So yeah. Um, the next thing they gave us, the tumbled stones and, okay, so they gave me two, which is cool. And this is, they gave me two pieces of rose quartz, which is awesome. I'm going to be putting this on my self-care altar. Um, <laughs> if you haven't seen my self-care altar video, please, please check it out. It's like 
I'm really proud of it. And if you are interested in any sort of self-care witchcraft, definitely recommend, but I, I love rose quartz. I have rose quartz on right now, which was made by my friend Twin Leaf Jewelry. Definitely also check that out. Um, but yeah, so you can't go wrong with too much rose quartz. Like uh, this is definitely gonna be like probably, because I have two, I'm probably gonna put one on either side of the purple candle uh, when I am taking my Ostara shower. So yeah. Um, and then the next thing that they gave us was the chakra bracelet. And they say that chakra balancing is an important part of restoring harmony, wear or carry this br bracelet after ritual to continue the process of harnessing energy and healing. So let me just take this out of the packaging. It looks really cool. Um, I don't really work with chakras that much, to be honest with you, but I definitely can understand how they are a valuable source for um, meditation. Sorry, the cat is over here. Um, sorry, my wrist is super tiny because I have baby wrists. Um, but here it is. It is really, really super pretty. Um, and I will definitely be like keeping it in and around my altar. I'm not sure. I, I have this thing with bracelets. Like it, they always do that. So I tried or that. So try trying. Um, but I don't, oh, stole my first course. Okay, and then the final thing that they gave me, they pulled a um, an oracle card for me. So I got one last time. I think it was the ant spirit, and I was like, okay. And it was all about building community. This one is um, lay a solid foundation. It's the beaver spirit. So um, that makes sense. But I'm just trying to like get myself together right now. So this kind of like makes sense. And I'm also like endeavoring to improve my health. So that is also something that I've been focusing on and you do need a strong foundation for that. So maybe that's what they're going on about. Maybe that's what that means. I will have to do some deeper meditation on it, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing. I love everything that is in this box. I think it is so, so cool. And um, yeah, I I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I'm, st I'm gonna be doing the rest of them, which is like six more. So, um, Stay tuned for my Ostara video, unless I've posted it already, in which case, whatever. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.